Hi everyone, it's Marcia from Close to Home. Happy New Year everyone. And with the new year brings our new block. And this year, um, the name of it is Petals in the Wind, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. Um, I wanna talk to you about last year's. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, and can you believe uh, a whole year's blocks are done? Um, we are going to have, which is on your paperwork that you'll receive, the um, quilt show will be done um, by camera pictures like last year. Mark, you bring in your quilt starting on April 1st through the 15th and he will be happy to take a picture of your quilt. We're, he is then gonna put them online and the voting will be, take place on April 29th and 30th. And the um, winner will be announced on May 2nd. So uh, get, get those blocks together and enter. Um, so on to the new year. Um, we have the same rules as we've done um, for years um, that you must have all 12 blocks in your quilt to qualify. So that hasn't changed. And the block of the month goes for 12 months. And if you come in with January's block finished in February, you will then receive your block free. You can send someone in with your block and we'll give them the block. You're only entitled to one. Um, so after the 12 blocks, um, then we start a new year. So let's get started on 2022, which is Petals in the Wind. And Mark is going to pan over. So this is the first block of 2022. It is going to be using this as our main fabric. It has every color in the rainbow. So you can use just about anything you like for colors. I put some here. In most of you were all pretty crafty and have a sense of color and like to do your own thing, but you'll be able to find the color in there. So this is our first block. The uh, kit will include all the uh, petals in the wind. Uh, it'll be referred to petals um, through the year. My uh, background my first choice and second choice are the gold and the green. So you have a total of four fabrics per block. To break this block down, there is uh, your favorites. And this one here is the Flying Geese. It's used uh, with my gold and using the um, petals to make the star shape. And this one is with um, the gold and my background. And you're gonna make four of those units. So I'm going to show you with this part here. It, they're done the same, just different colors. This is your two and a half by four and a half um, rectangle. You then are going to take your gold fabric or whatever color yours is and you place it on one corner. You then draw a line corner to corner. From here to here and then you sew on the side of the line, so in this case I would be sewing to the left, like one scant stitch. 
so that when you turn it over it will fit your square I mean your rectangle sorry and so then you'll do the same thing for the other side draw your line so one to the way you're going to fold it and then it'll fit your rectangle very nice so you're going to make four with those colors your your choice and then this one is your choice with the petals so that's one section the middle square is a, a four and a quarter four and a half sorry four and a half square and then these are made out of four two and a half inch um, two inch finish to be um, half square triangles and then a whole corner so we do the um, half square triangles by cutting our block which is on the instructions two and seven eighths will yield two and a half uh, blocks to sew you then put a line down the middle so a half a quarter inch on each side of that line and then you cut on that middle line and you end up with your half square triangles that are two and a half so that you may sew them together as as it is here and then another one with a solid piece and this will make the unit of the corners four corners afterward you'll sew each row together and then to, uh, the top to the middle and the top and middle to the bottom and that will complete your first block of 2022 I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find colors that you would like to use either in the home or come on in and the next block will be February 25th so get the blocks done uh, also on the paper um, that you get with your block I'm suggesting you get two and a half yards of your background and two yards each of your colors for the whole year all right thanks and let's get sewing